kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part two of my video series on WhatsApp status downloader app using Android Studio. All right, guys. So in our part one of the video, I had shown you the introduction, and then we created the project and added the required dependencies. And now in this video, I am we are now going to work on our project. So now, first of all, let's go to your resource layout and activate it slash man dot xml okay so uh, so in this video we are first of all going to create uh, a view okay and then we will be using the we, we will be binding the views in our man activity dot java file okay so let's get started so first of all inside your man uh, activity man dot xml instead of relative layout we can use linear layout and let's set the orientation to vertical then inside your linear layout what you are going to use is a frame layout we will be using it and then let's set the width to match parent and let's set the height to 0 dp and let's set the id to content all right so now here you can see there is an issue so we need to use the layout weight so we can use the weight as one and inside our frame layout what we are going to use is a text view so we can say text view match parent wrap content and set, set the id to message and let's set the text to you have not watched any whatsapp status currently all right so after that we will be using the recycler view so for that we can say recycler view okay so before that let me see okay so here we have the recycler view let me see okay so we don't have the recycler view here so we can use the recycler view so just what is the issue alright so after that we can use the recycler view and let's set the width to match parent and also the height to match parent and then what we are going to use is let's say scroll bar and we will set it to vertical alright so now the frame layout will be closed and the linear layout will also be closed alright so now let's go to our main activity dot java file and here first of all we need to initialize our recycler view and 
outside our own create method we can say recycler view ok let's see if we have set the id of the recycler view yes no so we can say recycler view alright and here we have set the recycler view and then we need to use the linear layout manager so we can say linear layout manager llm and here we can say llm equals to new linear layout manager and pass this and we can say recycler view dot set layout manager and we can pass the double lm here okay so before that let's specify the string uh, path of our whatsapp status is so here we can say public string okay public final string and we can say whatsapp dir location and we can say it is whatsapp slash media slash dot statuses okay so after that inside your own create method you are we are going to use file equals to new file and in here we can pass environment dot get external storage directory all right plus dot to string and plus we can say whatsapp directory location ok I guess there was some problem alright and now what we are going to say we are going to use uh, we need to create the custom adapter for our recycler view so for that let's name it as recycler adapter okay, new recycler adapter and here we are going to first of all send this dot get list files we will create the method inside that we can send the file uh, object and activity dot this all right so now let's create the get list method so for that we can say public Okay, let's make it private array list of type file and get list files and in here we can send okay so this is not this we will be doing it in our next part of the video all right so here we can send parent directory and now in this video uh, also sorry in this method we are going to fetch all the files uh, of the of, of your friend statuses okay so here you will be able to fetch all the images and videos and put it inside your array list of type file all right so let's here create another array list of type file and let's say in files equals to new array list then we are going to create an uh, array of obj uh, file object then we can say files and you can say files equals to parent uh, sorry parent directory dot list file okay so all the files will be in this uh, file array then after that what you are going to do is you are now we can check if files is not equal to null okay so if it contains some files so now we need to list all the files and uh, with which ends with the jpj for images 
jpg for images and mp4 for media files i mean the videos so for that here we can say for file uh, file and file and here what we are now going to say check is if file dot get name and if it ends with if the file name ends with dot jpg or file dot get name dot ends with dot gif or file dot get name dot ends with dot mp4 all right so if these uh, these files end with jpg for images gif for the graphic image and the mp4 for video so now what here you also need to check if in files dot contains or any of these if it does not contain any of the files you so you we will just add it okay so we can say in files dot add and what we are going to add is is the file all right so now we will have the okay so here we can return in file okay so now we will be having we will be having an array list which will have uh, all the status i mean the videos and the images all right guys so in our next part of the video we will be creating the recycler adapter and we will be going further in your in our app all right guys so i hope you have understood something so if you have any questions you can always comment on my videos and i will be honored to answer you all all right so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye